Hello everybody, welcome to the Joel Hemi Show, where today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be installing these brand new 1 to 10 scale plastic mud guards onto my Axial SCX-10 2. Hey, you there! I want to remind everybody that if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. And right now, YouTube says that over 90% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help, and with that... Hey, it's Joel, and welcome back to the Joel Lemon Show. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be installing these brand new 1 to 10 scale plastic mud guards by GRC onto my Axial SCX-10 II. So today, I'm going to be unboxing and installing them, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be doing it. So let's go ahead and jump down to the desk and take a look at the first steps of actually installing these. Right then, so now that we're down at the desk, we can go ahead and unbox these for the very first time. So let's go ahead and just flip this flap open. And inside we have the instruction manual as well as the mud flaps for the front and rear. As you can see here, they are all in plastic bags. And then here we have these smaller ones that are actually meant for going in between the center mud guard as well as the rear mud guards. So let's go ahead and get everything out of the bags and take a look at the first steps of actually installing these. So now that we have everything out of the bags and ready to go, we can go ahead and take a look at this instruction manual which shows us a diagram of everything in order from front to back. So here we can see those center rock sliders as I said earlier, as well as the front and rear as well as the center mud guards that we actually going to be installing today. And then here on the back, these are actually our steps. So here we have step one to installing the front mud guards as well as step two, step three, and step four. So let's go ahead and start by following step one and installing the mud guards to the front. And then to make life a little bit easier for myself, I'm actually going to be removing my shock towers as well as my front bumper so that I can install the mud guards a lot easier without these in the way. So now that I have all of my shock towers as well as my bumper removed, we can go ahead and actually install these with the step one actually saying that you should press it up against the frame until you hear a distinct click, which you can sort of hear there. But either way, now that this is mounted, I've actually run into another problem, and that is that my aluminum shock towers are actually much too large for the mud flaps or the mud guards. So I'm going to go ahead and in the form of a time lapse actually do a lot of trimming just so that I can make these fit and then I'll go ahead and get back to you guys when it's time to actually install these as intended. Right, so now I have all four of the mud guards trimmed and ready to fit the larger aluminum shock towers as opposed to the smaller stock plastic ones. So now let's go ahead and install these as intended. So the instruction manual actually gives you a little diagram labeling each screw as well as the two nuts and I've actually laid these out in a similar fashion so that I actually know which ones to use and I used another camera to take a picture so that when I'm on the other side following the steps I know which screws to place where. So for step 1 and 2, we'll be installing the front mud guards by first pressing on them until we hear a distinctive click, and then we can go ahead and put in the designated screws, and then for step 3 and 4, we'll be doing the same steps for the rear, only so these ones don't actually clip in, these ones are just screwed in. So the first step on the instruction manual says that we need to take the mud guard and press it onto the chassis until we hear a distinct click, just like that. And then you'll see that now we have two holes up here that line up with this little mount that goes on the front, which I'll go ahead and slide on now. And then the next step on the instruction manual says to use one of the M3x12 as well as one of the M3x10 screws, which are the largest and second largest screws that we have, and we'll be threading them into these first two holes here, which will be mounting the front end of the mudguard. So let's go ahead and thread those in now. So now we have this front mud guard mounted, so now let's go ahead and mount the one on the other side as well as the two at the rear, and then I'll go ahead and mount the shock towers, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the, how the final product turns out.
So now that we have all four of the mud gods installed, let's go ahead and reinstall all four shark towers and remount the sharks. And with that, we now have these brand new GRC plastic mud guards installed under my Axial SCX-10 II, and I think they turned out absolutely great. It's a little bit of a good offset as opposed to all of the other things that I've been doing recently to this build with the aluminum axles, wheels, and shocks, which it's a really nice offset to have the plastic covering everything up and making it look a lot more structurally sound. And I think they turned out absolutely great. Everything fit together absolutely perfectly, excluding the custom trimming that I had to do to fit these aluminum shock towers. But other than that, everything was very very nice and high quality and very easy to install and if I would have had the stock shock towers I probably wouldn't even had to do any trimming at all it would have just been a simple unscrew and screw in and that would have been the end of the installation but and since I have these aluminum shock towers I had to do a couple extra steps but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of extra work and for those of you that did really enjoy today's video if you found it helpful or even if it was just generally enjoyable I also will link some videos where I installed things like these aluminum axles aluminum wheels and actually bled and installed all these brand new metal body shocks and if any of you want to check out those videos i'd appreciate it a lot but anyway with that being said i was joel homie your guys as host and if you guys enjoyed today's video oh.